I just flew in a couple days ago. I'm a good flyer. Doesn't bother me. I'm not scared to fly. Nothing. But this every, this happens every once in a while. You know, when you're on a flight, they shut the door. No one else is getting on, and you realize there's an empty seat in your row. <sighs> That's the best moment in the world. Are you kidding me? <laughs> empty seat. That's like first class for white trash. Do you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh my God, empty seat. So exciting. All right. This is what happened to me on the way down. I'm sitting at the window. There's a gentleman beside me, and his, the, the, the empty seat is the aisle seat, okay? So I give him the celebration elbow. I give him one of these, I'm like, red right on, yeah. I'm excited. I expect him to celebrate with me, but he looks at me in the face, and he's like, actually, I prefer the middle seat. And I was like, what, what did you just say? I'm sorry, did you just tell me you're an a Is that what you said? Because your accent is very strong. What? Are you kidding? Do you prefer the middle seat? Let me tell you, I ruined his flight. I ruined his flight. Are you kidding? He was trying to sleep. I kept touching his face. Do you know what I mean? I'm all... <laughs> he woke up with a different part in his hair. That'll teach him. <laughs> teach him. It's your job, everyone, to teach people manners. Um, I also, I have to fly quite a bit, and this happens. This happens. Have you ever had to been on one of those little tiny small planes? One of those little passenger planes? Where there's only like seven people on the plane? I had to take one a little while ago. And the airline that I was flying on was called Bearskin Airlines, which at first I was like, oh, sexy. Uh, but it's not, it's not sexy. I thought it was gonna be big shirtless hairy guys bring me drinks. No, just terrifying, that's it. And here's something you need to remember in your travels, everybody. If you ever get onto the stairs of your aircraft and the whole plane moves, no, not a good idea. Yeah. I got on the stairs and the, it tipped on me. I'm like, ah! the whole plane. Seriously, I had to get someone to put their foot down so I could get on it. Do you know what I mean? Like, hold it, hold the plane, and then I got on. Scary stuff, everyone. And the worst part about this, all right, is that six people on the plane, but there's another woman about my size about to board the plane, all right? I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> You've had that moment waiting for an elevator, haven't you? Yeah, two women my size show up for the same elevator and you start to do math in your head. I know you do it. I know you do it. I know you do it. You're like, 2,500, oh my. Carry the two, carry the two. It's scary. That's a scary moment. And that happens to me. That's like an elevator shootout. Do you know what I mean? I was like, all right, sister, only one of us is going up. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? And then I punch her in the neck and then I run. That's what I do, everybody. I'm lying, I don't run. Anyway. Um, but I do, I do enjoy this. I'm from the East Coast, so I love, uh, I love it when you have a big time zone change. You know what I mean? Got the big space. Oh, it makes me feel so exciting. You know, you feel like when you have a big time zone, no one knows who you are. Sometimes I'm a different person. I pretend that I'm a different person. So the last time I came out to the West Coast, I was like, nobody knows me here. I'm gonna be a totally different Deborah. So I decided that I would flirt with guys. Cause you know what? I think I should give it a chance. I'm in my late thirties. This is the chance. Go for it, Deborah. Try talking to men. You can do it, all right? <laughs> Wrong, I can't do it. So what happens is this. I start to flirt with the first like stationary man that I saw. Uh, I was like, oh, you're not moving. You're my type. Hello. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> or I think I flirted. I'm not totally sure what I did, to be honest. I, you know, I tried, I smiled, I tossed my hair a couple times, and then I think I punched him. I don't remember what happened. I panicked, I panicked. You know, I blacked out for a while. Uh, but then I came to in my hotel room, so I thought, wow, that must have went well. That must have gone well, everybody, I'm here. But here, here's the thing, on a long flight, like five hour, six hour flight, and this, I'm a human being, all right? So I have to use the bathroom, human, all right? And now the next part of the story, not my fault, all right. The toilet overflowed, all right? Now this is not, this is not my fault because I am a delicate rose, all right? That is clearly a faulty toilet, all right? So I've been in the room for 90 seconds maybe and then I have to phone down to the front desk. I'm like, hi, I uh, overflowed the toilet. Even the girl on the phone was like, what the f you've been there for five seconds? I was like, all right, I know. Just send someone, all right? So in my mind, they're gonna send like maintenance or like housekeeping or something. But no, at this hotel, they send the cute guy from the front desk that I was trying to flirt with. That is who they sent. <laughs>